Thank you for taking the time to look at this video, which shows the operation of our Charpy and Izod motorised broaching machines. Our motorised broaching machine is a self-contained floor-mounted unit, especially designed for cutting Charpy and Izod V and U notches in pre-machined standard 10mm square, subsize, and 0.45 diameter specimens. Two types of machines are available. The fixed speed machine, which has a fixed broaching speed, and the variable speed machine, which has a variable broaching speed. We will now explain the setting up and broaching operation of a 10mm square specimen with a 2mm deep V-notch. Changing the broach keep. Check the broach keep is correct for the broach type being used. For a C-type 2mm V-notch broach, an X broach keep is required. If the broach keep has to be changed, remove the two clamping and the two securing cap screws. Remove the index assembly. Remove the two broach keep screws and fit the appropriate broach keep. Check the broach slides freely through the broach guide. Refit the index assembly with the four cap head screws ensuring the fixed block is pushed up tight against the two dowels. Fitting the brooch. With the brooch guard closed, depending on the machine, press or turn the up switch to get the machine to the top of its stroke. Remove the brooch guard shield and the top panel of the machine. Remove the lock pin, then the brooch anchor pin. Feed the brooch through the brooch guide into the brooch anchor and refit the brooch anchor pin and lock pin. Refit the top cover onto the machine. and then the guard shield. Setting the brooch axial position. Load a 10mm square specimen into the clamp assembly and move the adjusting screw so the brooch V is in the correct axial position for the standard being produced. Secure the adjusting screw in position by tightening the lock nut. Setting the brooch depth. Release the two clamping cap head screws and advance the adjustable jaw so the feeler gauge is a slide fit between the brooch pilot and the specimen. Choose the required feeler gauge for the brooch being used as stated in the machine manual. For a C-type brooch, a 5 thou feeler gauge is required. Tighten the two holding down cap head screws. Broaching the specimen. Load the specimen into the clamp assembly, pushing it up against the axial screw face. Clamp the specimen using the handle. Apply cutting oil to the broach teeth and close the guard shield. If using the variable machine, set the cutting speed for the material being broached. Press or turn the down switch to broach the specimen. When the machine has come to rest, Open the guard shield and remove the specimen. Close the guard shield and press or turn the up switch to bring the machine to the top of its stroke. Thoroughly clean the brooch of the specimen cuttings using the wire brush supplied and then clean the clamping area ready for the next specimen. Adjusting the brooch depth. If the depth of the notch requires adjustment, then mark the position of the index head with a marker. Release the two holding down cap head screws. 
the index head has graduations, which alter the depth of the notch by 0.05mm per division.